Hi, hello again, and uh, today we'll try to finish our second part from uh, last tutorial was about uh, ASP.NET MVC with the jQuery Ajax. So last time we finished how to get and process our data using uh, get. Uh, today we'll try to learn how to post data or how to submit this data from our view to uh, let's say to uh, to our controller but at we'll, the same time we'll uh, try to store it in our database or in pile or any any type of storing you like so just I want to show you how to uh, use this way so what we have here we have today uh, actually uh, two ways to do this one or to implement it uh, first way how I will use it without forum HTML forum and second way will be with forum and we'll see what different between two ways and which one will be uh, the best for you okay let's try to make a new project let's call it uh, jQuery uh, Ajax today will be post okay it will be MVC uh, first one will try to uh, create small method with a small page HTML page I will try to use it without uh, forum HTML forum uh, it will be simple just to show you how to do this one so Let's close this one and we'll go first to our controller, home controller. Uh, let's send this one down a bit. And let's uh, write a small uh, method will call it public uh, string. Let's say submit employee. Okay, uh, this employee, let's say, what will submit from our HTML? Let's say just two parameters. The first one will be uh, name, uh, second one will be, uh, let's say, country. So, uh, what will return to the page after we, after we uh, process what need in this method here? We'll return uh, data to our HTML page, let's say it's this one uh, succeeded, inserted to database uh, any message you like to in, uh, put here so uh, or uh, let's say uh, welcome to our web site uh, welcome for who will say, will say to this name this person who add, we add already and the uh, second one okay uh, from from where from country okay that's too simple but here we should if we leave it like this empty this uh, our compiler will understand it as uh, HTTP uh, a get if we put this tag HTTP POST this we tell our compiler this method will be just for POST okay let's use our uh, index page, page here okay let's clear all those things here and this here we don't need it so uh, first things what we need here in our HTML page let's create uh, paragraph small one let's say here uh, enter your name okay I will say uh, add html dot uh, text box give it name and ID name Again, second paragraph will be uh, enter your 
country same will be here at html dot text box will be country that's it and at the same time we need to add uh, button let's call it uh, input type will be submit and uh, let's give value let's say uh, save and same time we need ID let's call it save that's it here and let's put span uh, to show that let's say if message after we insert our data or we send it to our method after sending from method will send us succeed or not succeed message from uh, our method to this uh, page if it succeed okay or no will send us message like that so let's say call it msg and uh, let's give it style let's say color i'll give it color which color we need uh, blue okay close it that's good now we finish our HTML code after that we'll uh, write uh, our uh, Java's, uh, Java code will be section script section If you want, if you want to type for the script, it will be text JavaScript. It's okay. So, uh, first thing, all of us need to declare our URL and read data from HTML code. We read this data to send it to our uh, Java JavaScript code. So uh, let's say when we click this button, this one, submit button, okay, um, when we click this, what we call it there, save, dot click, okay, we'll do this function, Oh, here. Okay. Oh, we need, as we said, clear our URL. What is our URL? Will be uh, home. Our method name. Submit employee. Down on again, var declare name will be from where we'll read our name from text box. So, uh, val, uh, what's the name for our text box? I think it's called by this name. Okay, oh, have something here. Mm, one more close it. Again, var country will be same. Our code dot var will read it from country is our ID. Okay. <clears throat> After we read them from our HTML code, we'll send them to our uh, method or to our controller so let's say here post first thing we need our URL second things our data first first one name card name and small name this one data we stored here okay second one will be a country oh too much count 
country I will be country YouTube okay after that when succeed that data back from my controller what I want it to be I want to show it in span last span here this one <coughs> my span msg dot html what I'm inside it my data back from my controller from what return from there and close this one uh, now press run <coughs> A second video if maybe make second video about uh, how to use it with uh, HTML forum and if you have more time we'll use it with uh, we'll try to show one let's say more complex uh, complex it will uh, add uh, will insert something to our database so let's say my name country save say welcome to our website from UK so uh, let's make something uh, see what happened in the background let's track it say debugging from here close it let's debug our code run it just to see how this tip is going inside this method Not sure is being UK save. So we should have here a name. Here I have my name and country. This they came from uh, my HTML using this code. Uh, we write our my name here, country here. When you press this uh, button, uh, we store them in this uh, we declare it to uh, parameters first one name and country here we store name and country after that create our post link our URL as we say as we see this one here we send our data with this uh, link and after that one uh, will come to this one here send our data this message will be returned to Uh, this part here is our data so this data will be showing on span I think it's easy and simple uh, and I think it's very useful uh, so let's try uh, make it with forum but I, I see you uh, second video maybe will make better no need to be long and will be boring so thank you for watching this one and I hope it's very useful for you. And see you next video. Bye-bye.